Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at a couple of unboxings that I, uh, things I ordered a week or so ago uh, on a couple of sales. Getting out the trusty, uh, very non-aggressive just box opener here. Yeah. How the heck is this? Does this work? <laughs> they really taped the corners of these boxes. They're like, you're not getting in there. No way. All right. This stuff comes from Endless Pens, where uh, Endless Pens warranty card. That's cool. They had a sale the other day on a couple of things that I wanted to get my hands on. That's all that's in here. Uh, one thing they had on sale were these really nice uh, inks from Sailor in the Shikiori uh, series, which are some inks that I don't have a whole lot of. I mean, they have put sort of everything in the Shikiori series now, so I do have actually a lot of these, but uh, I didn't have this one. There are a couple that I wanted to get, and uh, this is the one they had in stock. So we got Waka Oog Uguisu? I do not know how to say that word at all. 20 mils, dye-based ink, made in Japan, four fountain pens. This is pretty good stuff. I always love Sailor inks. They make some of my favorite things. Come on, there we go. They come in these cute little bottles. It is unfortunately a smaller bottle than they used to be. Uh, what is this, 20 mils? That's a pretty small bottle, but uh, for me, this is gonna last quite a while, and it's a very nice green color. We'll swatch that out a little bit later. Let's put that away. What's this? Oh, interesting. You couldn't label a con they give you little converter labels. That is very strange. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I have never used an ink in just one converter before, so I don't know why I would want that. All right. Uh, and then secondly, I'll put the K-bar up here out of the way. Uh, this is a pin from Lamy. Uh, this is not the new uh, seasonal for the, or seasonal, not the new pin for this year, the all-star anything. This is the Lamy Zevo, which is a, um, this is a ballpoint pen that I've actually wanted to get my hands on for a little while. I heard about these, I don't know, a year or so ago? No, that can't be right. It must have been late last year. What is time though, am I right? Uh, they came out with two new ballpoints. This is one and this is the other. I was able to get this one last year. I don't remember what this one is called. Uh, I'll put it down here once I figure it out. I don't remember it offhand, but triangular grip section, ballpoint, pen, cool, like oval knock, weird cutout clip, pretty cool. This one is a different color. It's not white, it's actually gray. You can see the difference there, I think. Uh, and this one is a twist. Still has a triangular grip section. They love those in Germany. Uh, and uh, we got this. And we have a very standard sort of clip here. Oh, it's actually, it's actually articulated. There's a spring inside the cap here. Huh, didn't really expect that on a, what is this, $12 before discount pen. So let's see, can I open this? There, there you go. You just twist the other direction. And we have, uh, yep, the M16 refill from Lamy. These are, <laughs> Lamy's refills are not my favorite refills on the planet, but also nothing else is shaped like this. This is a weird thing. I think you can get some uh, ink refills that will fit this from like Monteverde, maybe? But look how weird that is. It's got a post up here for some reason. We got this weird stop spacer thing, the long snoot. Weird, weird refill. It's the only problem with Lamy ballpoint pens is that I don't love the refill, but let's actually see how this is. There we go. I do love the look of this pen and it feels, this matte plastic feels really good in the hand. I dig that. And it's not gonna get dirty like the like the white one does. So, pretty good. A little bit of a skip there on the L, but that's the first time this cartridge has ever been written with. Same kind of thing. As soon as you get it going, these are totally fine. So, there you go. Knock and twist. I like this little pinch. It's kind of neat. I'm gonna give that some use Maybe have a little uh, little uh, quick click on these in the future. All right, is that over there? Okay, so that's that's my endless pins uh, haul here. Put this down here. <laughs> this scared my cat. <laughs> it was getting investigative. All right, now this box is from Goldspot Pens. These are all things I I picked up on some of the recent sales. 
this actually wasn't a sale, I don't think. Um, uh, although I do have a discount code. Join the Patreon at patreon.com slash inkdependence, and you too can get a 10% off code for things. I used my own code. Yeah, I know. I'm that guy. But, uh, you know, who's a bigger patron of myself than me? No one. That's who. <laughs> so, let's get in here. Um, they just had some stuff that I forgot to get at the Philly Pin Show, so I decided to get it now. Okay. This is a good box. I don't want to wreck it, so I'm being careful. There we go. <laughs> so, lots of bubble wrap. Have a thank you card here. Your support means the world to our small business, etc., etc. Goldspot.com. Go check them out. Uh, not a sponsor, but... All right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so six inks and a pen. So, let me get the packing slip out of here. All right, so you'll notice these are all uh, wrapped identically. That's cool. They've got that down. These are all the new Schaefer inks. I'm not actually sure if these are new inks or if it's just a new uh, throwback bottle. Whoa, but wrapped safely, thank goodness. Here we have Retro Sunset, which I have seen some swatches of and it looks great. Uh, then we have here Inferno, which I'm looking forward to. Schaefer Red was always my go-to like um, red ink. So if you want something that's just a basic full-on red without a bunch of other weird stuff going on, Schaefer Script Red was always where I went. Uh, but I haven't been able to find Script Red in a while. Their usual bottles seem to be out of stock. And um, so I kind of haven't gotten any in a while. And, you know, I'm not out, but like whatever. So I decided to try out these new bottles and also get the ink. So this is one called Bling, which is actually a gray ink with, uh, with shimmer. Coastal Blue. Very Verde. So Verde. And then Latte, which is their brown. Cafe au lait, cafe con leche. Interesting. <laughs> these, are, uh, these are their new inks. And you can see they have this interesting bottle shape. So we're going to get into those. Uh, I need something smaller than the K-Bar for this job. Let's get in here. Shink. I saw these on um, Bert at Bertram's Inkwell's table at Philly. And I was meant to get some, and then I didn't do it. So, what do we have in here? We have Schaefer, established 1913. I'm just going to look at this once. Optimum performance. Ink says fluid without skipping. Non-feathering, fast drying, 10 years shelf life, at least. Legendary Schaefer white dot. Premier experience. Colors can be blended. Oh, interesting. I've always been a, a fan of Schaefer inks. I've got some of the original bottles like this from uh, <laughs> that my grandmother had of Schaefer Blue Black and a couple of other things that are from the Wayback Days. They're bigger than these. I don't I don't have it at hand. It's like upstairs in my ink collection, but they have brought back the vintage style bottle, which you can see something weird going on here. Also, I really like, I like the cap. They've done this like interesting red ring and they've got the white seal, white dot of quality there. So in here, you'll see it has a division and that division here is an inkwell on this side. So it's an in-bottle inkwell that you can use to fill up your pen, you know, when it's getting low or whatever like that. You just gotta, just gotta tilt it over, tilt it back, and bada bing, bada boom, it traps a bunch of ink here. Kind of like how the Ackerman bottles have that like marble thing in the top, but um, just kind of an easier solution, honestly. So we got brown here. Let me go ahead and take these out. Also, I like this. I like this like close cell foam stuff they've got in here to, to cushion the bottles. And I enjoy these, I think these boxes are good. These do come at a bit of a premium over the standard uh, Schaefer script line, which were uh, 50 mil bottles for about 10 bucks a piece usually. And uh, they didn't have any of the, the fancy inkwell or anything like that. They were kind of squat. They're actually a little bit difficult to fill from once they got low. So this is an improvement over that. But these do cost uh, $12 for 30 mils. So more dollars, less ink, cooler bottle. I don't know. I don't know how the colors are going to compare. So we'll just have to see. Mine were all opened, which I kind of don't love. Like, I'm sure they're fine, but... I also would kind of like prefer that my bottles of ink hadn't been opened before I got them. Not all of them, but a lot of them had, you know, been broken. And that could just be like, they just got that way in shipping, like something flexed the box a little bit and popped the seals, but I don't know. All right. 
So there we have it. All the new Schaefers! Isn't that fun? Well, all of them except for, I think it's called No Fuss Black or something like that, but I don't really use black ink that much, so I decided to skip that one at $12 and uh, try out all the rest. So, we'll swatch those here very soon. Swatching is ready. And then, I uh, went ahead and got one of the new All-Stars because I, I like these things. They're like little collectibles. They're not terribly expensive, especially with a 10% discount, which you can get at... Uh, Patreon.com slash independence when you become a patron. Um, this is the new white silver, which, what's this? No, just warranty policy? I'm good. This is the new Lamy All-Star for 2022. See, it has this nice cardboard ring. This might have the blue ink. A uh, little bit of blue ink staining up here, actually, as you can see. These uh, pins are all dip tested, is the story. Before they leave the factory or whatever, they are dip tested. And uh, they uh, so they might have a little bit of ink in them. Don't worry, it's just a little bit of a lamy blue. Not going to hurt anything. But uh, this is, I think, a beautiful pen. Doesn't come with a converter or anything like that, but I've got a lot of uh, lamy converters around. And I was a little skeptical, honestly, about how white silver would look. Tell you what, though, white silver looks nice. That is a good, that is a good color. Uh, let me grab something regular silver. So here's a, here's a silver diplomat. It's very similar, but this is actually a little bit different. I'm a little bit pearlescent or something. It's good. It's a sharp looking pen. Nobody's going to mind having that in their pocket or sitting on their desk. Good stuff. All right. Very cool. Okay. Uh, let's put this stuff over here. And let's get to swatching, because I want to I wanna see what these look like. All right, let's start with the uh, the Sailor Shikiori um, uh, Waka Uguisu. I'm not going to do the full-on dip pin and everything. I'm just going to be swatching these for time. All right, so there's that one. Real nice. Real nice looking green. I don't know how I haven't used this one yet. I know I had a sample of it way back in the before times, uh, like years ago, and I don't think I ever got around to using this one. All right, let's start. Let's start darker. And end with the shimmer. Yeah. All right, so starting off with Schaefer Latte. Okay, let's go ahead and set this here and let it uh, let it dry for a few minutes. Uh, I will see you. Uh, I'll see you on the other side of some dry time. Okay, good enough. It has been several minutes. I've been waiting for these to dry. This red, I must I think I put down too much red here. <laughs> it's just taking too long to dry. All right, so let's start up here. I always thought of this ink as being very, uh, very light, but it is just not. This is a, a very nice uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, medium yellowy green. Looks neat. The brown looks very good. Schaefer has always had really good basic sort of colors. They don't have, huh. I'm noticing here there's no blue. I guess this is as close as we're getting to blue, which is really kind of a turquoise. And it does look like we have a little bit of shading out here at the edge. I'm not counting on that sticking around in um, like writing samples, but we'll see how it goes. The green, beautiful sort of dark foresty green. The red, Schaefer's red, as I said before, takes the cake for being super duper red. This one might be brighter than their normal red. I don't really know. I wish there was somebody I could talk to at Schaefer to tell me about these things a bit more. Then we've got this orange, which is, uh, what's this one called? Uh, Retro Sunset, which is real nice. On my monitor right now, it actually looks a lot like the red. It's a very sort of, it's a much redder orange than just a bright orange, but it's supposed to be sunset -y, so that's not too surprising. So it's sort of an off-red, really, is what we have here. I think that's pretty cool. See how it works in a pen. And then we have... Uh, this one down here, bling. I've never seen a Schaefer glitter ink before, or sh shimmer ink before, so that's interesting. You can see a little bit of the shimmer down here, 
I don't see a huge amount of shimmer up in this area. Oh, no, it is there. It's subtle, but it's there. Let me get some more light. Yeah, yeah, there's shimmer all through it. Now, I get, now that I get some indirect light going on there, and now you can actually see the difference, I think, between the red and the orange even more starkly. Just a whole lot of, a lot of light there, but yeah, plenty of shimmer in that shimmer ink. Interesting, and it's a good gray too. Even if you don't really get a whole lot of shimmer, good gray. One thing I was noticing is that this uh, this little inkwell bit is fairly shallow. I'm uh, that's one thing that I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I can really fill a pen from it, but maybe I can. We'll have to see as I go and fill some pens and that sort of thing with these inks. Very excited. So there you go. There's my haul of ink mostly and a couple of uh, of lammies. Hey, get over here. Come on, come on, corral. There, there, there we go. All right, so all the new Schaefer's aside from No Nonsense uh, Black, which I wasn't super psyched about, a cool ballpoint and this interesting gray color and the silver white Lammy All Star. Let me know in the comments if you've used these before, or if you're g just now getting them, or what you think of them. How do you like this, uh, this bright silver? I think it's pretty neat. It's better than I expected. All right, so thanks very much, folks, for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.